Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another episode of Brand Marks the Spot, a show where I talk about all things branding and design to help you grow your business, have a bigger impact with your audience, and make more money in your business. And I'm your brand buddy, Patrick Cisco. And today's episode, we're going to be, I'm going to actually walk you through how you can create custom social media graphics uh, or social holiday media graphics uh, for your business, right? Um, and this is actually take two of this episode because I ran it live earlier in my streaming software. I wasn't sharing the correct screen uh, window when I was doing the tutorial. So um, this is take two of that. Um, I just need to make sure that I am actually live before I go any farther. Let's see what do we got here. Yes, and it appears that I am live. Yes, we go. All right, very good. So if you're here, drop a comment, say hi. If you're catching the replay, type in hashtag replay. And again, um, this is take two. So, you know, sometimes we just have to deal the hand that we're dealt. And this is what I'm dealt with today. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this again. So second time's a charm. So today's episode, we're going to talk about how to make a custom holiday social media graphic for your business. Uh, with Canva, and I'm going to actually walk you through step by step. And when we're done with this, if you're interested in getting these templates for free, just drop uh, just drop in a comment that says "ho ho ho," and I'll send you guys the link to grab the free uh, Canva templates for those. No opt-in required. All right. So before we jump into today's episode, this episode is brought to you by my Nail Your Brand Colors and Fonts Workshop. And I'm actually tooling this a little bit. I'm probably going to be launching this early in 2021, January probably. Uh, but it's going to probably end up being something more along the lines of a brand starter kit where you're going to nail your brand colors and your fonts and your personality, a simple logo so you can put yourself out there with confidence. Uh, you're going to build instant credibility with your audience. And then I'm also going to give you a slew of templates that's going to help you customize them to your brand so you don't have to think about it or you don't have to get lost in any Canva rabbit holes or just trying to figure something out with how stuff's going to look like in your head. And then when you go to actually do it, it doesn't look like what it is. So you'll be able to create your consistent visual brand foundation and show up with more confidence and authority. So get on the wait list for that at patricksesco.com forward slash wait list. All right. So today's episode, like I said, is how to create uh, custom holiday social media graphics. And basically uh, what you want to do is you know, you, you can go to a Canva and just get some graphic and update it and change the text and post it. Right. And the problem with doing that is that people are grabbing these templates, which, you know, are great, but they'll do one visual style for one particular one and another visual style here, something different on Instagram, something different on Facebook. And when people are exposed to all of your, your visual branding, it's not consistent, right? Or they'll go to your profile, they'll go to your website and it looks totally different and it's not consistent. So templates are great, but as long as, uh, if they're not consistent, you're really actually doing your business harm. Um, so what I like to do when I do uh, certain social media graphics, I, I design mine from scratch because I'm a designer. That's what I do, right? So all of my, if you notice any of my quote graphics and things like that, the cover slide for this uh, video, for instance, and my podcast artwork, it's all cohesive. And then when you go to my website, it's not a really robust website. It's a pretty simple website. It shows, tells you who I am, what I do, and how you can work with me and some freebie downloads. And it all looks the same. So when people have that experience, it just creates this level of it's inherent trust and credibility. It's not like something that they're going to make this conscious decision per se. It happens in a split second. So when you have your stuff looking consistent all throughout and it's all the same, everywhere you, you know, everywhere you are, then you're going to build that, uh, that credibility. So, um, what I'm going to talk about today is again, creating these custom social media graphics, uh, for the, your holiday coming up. And I'm going to give you those free templates and when we're done. So stick around uh, for that. And like I said, if you're here joining me live, drop in, say hello, I'm monitoring this on my iPad. And if you are catching a replay, just type in hashtag replay. I'll make sure you get a link to those Canva templates. No opt-in required. 
So since it is the holiday season, we have just recently put up our tree and put out some of our decorations and, uh, you know, all that stuff, lights outside and just getting into the holiday spirit. And I went around my house inside and outside and I took some photographs and all with my iPhone, right? You don't need fancy camera. You're just going to do it right here with the iPhone. Um, and I'm just going to pull up my iPhone screen. Let's see. Let me get to where I need to be. One second. Pair with me. All right. So I'm going to go to my photos, photo app. And I'm going to get to the photos that I took for this exercise. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bunch of photos that I just took. <laughs> it never fails, right? You uh, these are a bunch of photos I took of uh, you know a tablecloth, Christmas tablecloth, uh, stocking right here, and uh, I got some ornaments and Christmas trees and lights and things like that, right? So what I did was I took those. And I sent them to my Google Drive, or you can send them to your Dropbox, or you can email them to yourself so you can get them onto your computer. Or if you're using Canva on your phone, you can access them that way through Canva. And so what you want to do is take those photos, and I'm going to show you um, the photos that I took here so you get a better idea. So these are the photos that I ended up selecting. There's uh, eight of them, and I think we only use three, but you get the idea. So the first one is just... Um, picture of some bushes with the lights on. The second one is the tree, uh, in, indoor Christmas tree with some ornaments. Uh, third one is lights. Uh, and these other two are just uh, close ups of a stocking, a, a, you know, stocking that you hang on the chimney uh, on the uh, fireplace. And the other three are part of a Christmas tablecloth that we have, right? So that's what you're going to use for your initial images. These don't have to be perfect, just try to make them in focus. Um, and you're going to import those into your Canva account. And so once you do that, once you get your photos and you send them to yourself, you're going to get them into your account. And then what I'm going to switch over here in just a moment, but these are the graphics that we're going to end up creating for your, your business, whether you do your, you know, uh, social media, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, whatever that holiday is. I celebrate Christmas. So these are going to be Christmas oriented and you can use this. Uh, you can use this strategy uh, for anything, for any holiday. It can be summertime. It can be 4th of July. You can take your own photos and then they're going to be custom. It's going to have your personality uh, baked in basically. So those are what we're going to do there. Okay. And I'm going to go now. I'm going to switch over to Canva and I'm going to walk you through how to do these. I'm going to go kind of quick, but you can come back and watch the, the replay if you are. If you're here with me, say hi. Tell me where you're from. Or if you're catching a replay, just type in hashtag replay. And when I'm done with this uh, tutorial, I'll make sure you get the Canva templates for free without any kind of opt-in, right? Just as a little way of saying thank you to you. So let me switch over to my Canva account. So this is my Canva account. Let me just make sure I can see this because the last time I did this earlier today, the live crapped out on me. So, all right, it looks like we are good. All right, very good. So this right here, is the Canva doc document. Now I've already edited, the, I've already created this document. So I'm just gonna show you uh, these up close. And you'll see that some of them are a little bit different. They have some different uh, variations. And you can notice the pictures that I use there, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another page to this document and I'm gonna go step by step and show you exactly how I created these. And then I'll show you how to export them so you can use them in your social media. So. In your Canva account, even before you start with that, you want to make sure you get your photos loaded into Canva. So uh, the easiest way to do that is to upload them to Google Drive. And if you go into folders, uh, I'm sorry, if you go to more, and you'll notice this has a little Google Drive uh, add-on there so you can add on that. I've already uploaded my, or you can upload your photos directly from your hard drive there. Here you can see I've already uploaded the photos. There's, there's a, uh, eight of them, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I got to count eight or nine of them there. I only use three. Um, so I've uploaded them here. And again, these are not like some crazy photography photos where I did any kind of editing. You can edit the photos, lighten, darken, darken them or change the uh, exposure if you want. 
you don't really need to do that because as you can see, these are going to be used as sort of background images and give you that sort of customization that I was talking about. So I'm going to come down here. Now that I've got my photos imported into Canva, I'm just going to uh, add a page. Uh, how do I add a page here? Here we go. All right, click on the add a page, right? And so I'm going to grab, so I'm basically going to reproduce this one so you can see the steps that I used to take. So I'm going to take my tablecloth image, which is Christmassy, and I'm just going to click on that right there. And I want to fill this whole space back here. And just, uh, just as a little aside, now this document is a, um, when I created the document, this was a uh, Instagram post. So it's like a 1080 by 1080 is the pixel size, but you can use any size you want. Once you create these, you can resize them for Instagram stories. You can resize them for Facebook posts. Um, you can resize them for anything you want. Um, and a, as an also another aside is that if you, uh, Canva is a free um, uh, software that you can use, but it's limited capabilities on the free version. If you can swing it, get the paid version. It's like ten bucks a month. If you're in business, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta have some investments in your business to, for tools and strategies and things like that. So get the get the uh, full version because it unlocks a lot of features that are not available in the free version. But what I'm showing you right here is something that you can do with the free version. So we got that placed in there. I kind of centered it right. So now I want to make it a little bit sort of. Uh, uh, a little bit more subdued for the background. So I'm going to go over here to the elements section and I'm going to go to the shapes and I'm just going to grab a, a square. Um, now, again, keep in mind that Canva is sort of a, a pared down graphic design software. It's nothing like Photoshop and Illustrator. Uh, those are much more robust and hardcore uh, software programs. This is great for the you know solopreneur, online entrepreneur who are doing these kinds of things for themselves. It's very affordable and it gives you a lot of options to do, but you're not gonna be able to do to the extent of what you could do with Photoshop and uh, custom you know, graphics, uh, graphic design. So here you're gonna grab this square and you'll notice this little uh, free circle here. That means that this is available on the free version. There are some things that are not available on the free versions and we'll get to that when we get further along. But for now, I'm gonna pop this on there. And what I wanna do is change the color to red. So I'm gonna, with this box selected, I'm going to just click on this little color thing here. And I've already got my colors loaded in here, but if you wanna add a new color, you just click on new color and you find it on, you find the base color on the uh, scale here. And you can just add, you know, if you want a deeper red, you add a little black to it. If you want a lighter red, you add white to it. But for this instance, I've already got the color loaded. It's this one here, I select it. And then I'm also going to just, fill this whole document up there. So that covers everything. So you're like, okay, well, I can't see anything now. So what you wanna do is you click on it and you wanna click on this little transparency tool and you click on the transparency tool and you just pull that down and you'll start to see the photo underneath of it start to come through. Now you can go all the way with a zero. You can add a little bit of transparency or even more. So I'm going to keep it right about there, right? Because I like it a little bit subdued in the background because we want the text and the little uh, graphical accoutrements, if you will, to be what is, uh, it, you know, uh, pulled out to the front. That's going to be the focal point. All right. So now that we have our base background in Canva, again, they have all kinds of little accoutrements that you can use. So I am going to do, so this one I did happy holidays. Let's do uh, another happy holidays or let's do tis the season. Just do go into your search box under elements and type in tis the season and see what comes up. So let's see what we have here. Uh, okay. Now this, some of these are animated too. And those are even free. I'm not going to do an animated one. Uh, you'll notice too, like on this one here, this says pro. This, that means that it, that's available on the paid version. So that would not be available on the free version. So I'm gonna go with this one here, right? So let's pop that in there. I'm gonna size it up a little bit. And the great thing about this, you're like, well, this looks great, but these little Holly graphics are not coming through because 
uh, you know, it's red on red. So what we want to do is we're going to change all the elements to white. And if you look here with this object selected, these three things are the three colors. So we're just going to change everything to white. I just want a very simple, clean design, right? And that means everything there is white. So it's similar to this, right? Just a little bit different. So it's tis the season to be jolly. So now what I want to do is add like a little frame that'll go around it, right? So we go back to the elements and we go into our shapes. And right over here, you'll see a see all. You just click on that. And there's all these sort of prefabricated shapes, right? One of the limitations of Canva is you can't draw a shape by hand. All these shapes are prefabbed and you have to do, that's just the way it is, right? So we're going to grab this. And you'll notice that it comes in, it's kind of a thick line and I want it to be less thick. I want it thin. So the bigger I make it, the fatter that line's gonna be. So a little work around here is you gotta make, I want a thin line. So you have to make the box pretty small and then you have to grab these sidebars out. If you grab it from the corner, it's gonna, it's gonna make that th the line thicker. So you don't wanna do that. All right, so now I've got that on there. And what I want to do is I want to position this on the center uh, axis of the of this graphic. So you just go to position and you do vertical center and horizontal center and that'll center it. And in fact, I'm going to I'm going to do that with this graphic as well. I'm going to position this. It's already positioned there. All right. So already it's starting to come together, as you can see. And really, the last thing I want to do is find some little accoutrements, as we call them. Just some little, I don't know, little flares, whatever you want to call them. So I'll just uh, do a search for foliage. And you can use your own terminology, right? You, you just do search for stuff, see what comes up. Sometimes you're going to get stuff that you're, that's on the pro version. Sometimes you're going to get stuff that's on the free version. So if you don't have the pro version, you're going to be limited to what you can get, but it's still doable. Um, Let's do this one. This is a pro option, but I'm going to use this one here because it's kind of cool. So that's black. I don't want black. I want to make it white because I want it to be on top of everything. And so to me, eh, that's not working. So I'm not going to use that one. And that's, you know, sometimes it's just trial and error. Trial and error, my friends. Let's... uh. Let's look for something holly, some holly. Let's see what we can find. There we go. There we go. I'm going to use this one right here. This, again, is a pro one, but I want something elegant, and that's kind of the look and feel. I wouldn't probably use something like that. That's a little bit too cartoony for the style. I want something that's a little bit more elegant. So I'm going to use this little line drawing, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, and I'm going to change the color of that to white. And let's see what that looks like. So we got to rotate this 90 degrees. And I still don't think that's going to work because it's too, it's too detailed, I think, for this. So again, design is all about trial and error, right? It's not one and done. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to just keep it simple. And I'm going to use the same one that I used in the uh, version above. And that's this here. This is this little holly. And that seemed to work good. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here, okay? Now you notice here the colors are um, not the colors that we want. So when you have your object selected, these are all the colors that are in that object. So you just want to click on each one, grab the color that it's going to be. I'm doing this quickly. And I just want to make it all white because I just want this white on red look and feel. And maybe I'll make this even a little bit bigger. And if you hold your option key down while you're sizing these, it'll size it from the center as opposed to without option, with option. So it'll just keep it centered. That's just a little trick there. All right. If you're joining me live, drop in, write a comment, say hi. And if you want these uh, social media templates, just drop in a comment, say ho, 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 or something like that. I'll make sure you get the link to it and you can download those. No charge, uh, no opt-in required, All right? So I'm going to duplicate this. And because I want it to be a mirror image, I'm going to rotate it. Or you could also flip it if you wanted to. There's no need to do that. Yeah, maybe this one here, I'll do one on each side and see what that looks like. That's the fun about design too. It's like, you know, you can, you can just try, trial and error is always fun. And let's try the, the flip version. So flip horizontal, flip vertical, there we go. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's keep that. 
All right, and so what I'm gonna do here is I wanna add my logo in here. So I wanna have some space for my logo, right? So this is obviously a little bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock this background so I don't grab it by mistake. And I'm gonna select all of this stuff here. And I'm gonna actually just make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna select this guy, make him a little bit smaller move it up and I just instantly made space for my branding, my logo. And in the, another good uh, pro feature of the, uh, of Canva is that um, if it, it allows you to create a little brand kit, meaning that you can upload your logos and they're already part of your, your brand kit. Um, so if I go to your folders here, let me see if I can get to the brand kit. I don't even know where it is here. Well, I'm not seeing it, but it's in there. <laughs> uh, so I'll just go to my logos and I'll grab my, I'll just grab my little bug type logo instead of the full logo, just so you can see it different. I'm going to make that a little smaller, bring it down here and center it. And boom, there you go. That's the graphic. So now we have three variations of a similar graphic. You got one, you got two. And I still think that's almost too busy. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove those side ones. And you know what? I'm even going to take this bottom one off. And this will allow me to bring this down a little bit. And then I can make this bigger again. Trial and error. Trial and error, my friends. There. How's that? All right. So uh, again, if you're joining me live, hey guys, how you doing? What's up, Chris, Damon, Ryan? What's up, Mona? How are you? Thank you. Appreciate that. If you guys want these graphic templates, uh, just type in a comment. Ho ho ho! I'll make sure you get the link when I'm all done with this. I'll post the um, the Canva uh, link for you. The template, uh, no opt-in required. So that's the three there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this second version here. I'm going to do another variation of this one. I'm going to do it real quick because, you know, I want to honor your time. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add in another page below this one. I'm going to go back to my uploads. These are the images that I took. Um, again, these are like Christmas stockings. So um, I'll grab this one and see what uh, this will look like here. So I'm going to make that large okay uh let's see so maybe i am i'm going to detach that from the background and i'm going to actually bring that on the left side and then i can fill in the background so that's what we want we want to fill in these backgrounds and remember these are these are sized for Instagram. I think they're 1080 by 1080, but you can use them anywhere. And once, you, once you're done with the designs, if you have the pro version, you can do an automatic resize for things like Instagram stories, LinkedIn, and whatnot. And it, you're not just limited to holiday graphics, right? Um, and again, if you're just joining, these can be used for any holiday. It can be used for any, you know, uh, any uh, promotion that you're doing or any, any kind of social media connection that you're doing. You can create these very easily. You can build your own photo library. Again, um, I'm going to come back to camera here for a second. So again, you know, you're just using your phone to take these photographs, right? And you see how fast I'm doing this. And it, it, you know, with a little bit of time, you do it a few times, and you you get really good at it, and you get down a process. And if if you get to the point where you have a VA, a virtual assistant, once you get a process down, you can just take a bunch of photos, send them to your VA, send them the text that you want on your social media graphics. You've already got your design style set. You send it to them and that takes that whole uh, project off of your plate and it gives you more freedom to do the things that matter more in your business. So just keep that in mind as well. So let's get back to the tutorial. I'm going to go through this one uh, pretty quick again. Um, Good thing about uh, some of these photos, like this uh, fur part is kind of yellowish. So I'm going to go to the effects or the filters tab and you can play with some of these filters, right? And that'll kind of change the look and feel. Now, again, these are sort of prefabbed uh, <clears throat> filters. You don't have as much control as you would in, say, a Photoshop, but Really, these are social media graphics, guys. These have a, their half-life is a couple of hours, if that. Yes, they're on your feed 
for eternity, but you know, you're only going to, it's that first couple of hours that are going to get the views. So we're not going for absolute perfection. Perfection. These are not national geographic cover photos, right? You take these photos, they're being used as backgrounds and, and you just do it that way. So, um, I like that, you know, you can change it to Nordic. You can change the intensity of some of these, you know, so I, let's see, I want something just pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Let's do that one because that gives a nice crispness to it. All right. So um, once we have that on there and uh, you'll notice here, that's what we got there. So we got Merry Christmas. We got two Merry Christmases. Let's do a happy holiday. So we're going to go to elements again. I'm just going to say happy holidays. Boom. And I'm just going to make this real quick and easy. This one's cool. Did I use that one yet? No, I didn't. So we're going to do this happy holidays right here. And remember, we're going to change the color to white because that's the look I want. Make that a little bit bigger. And now this one doesn't really lend itself to doing like a square around it. So maybe we just add some little graphic here. So let's see. I'm just going to type in Christmas and see what comes up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to make this quick so I don't spend a ton of time doing this. You know what? I'm just going to keep it as happy holidays because sometimes there is no need to reinvent the wheel. But the one thing I am going to do is now I'm not really crazy about this background effect. So I'm going to go to the filter and just switch it to none. And I'm just going to keep it at, at the original. Um, and then um, what I'll do is I'm going to add my logo. So I'm going to go to logos. I'll add my full logo. I'll pop that in here and I'm going to center that to this. And then I'm going to add some little separator line or something like that. Let's go to elements and we'll do separator. I got to spell separator, right? Actually, just go to the line section. So we'll see all lines. <clears throat> and let's just look to see what we got. I've got a better idea. Let's do snow. There we go. I'm going to grab this and just put it there in the middle. And then I'm going to bring this opacity down. And it, this is trial and error, guys. And this is just, I'm just showing you the process, right? This isn't necessarily the end, end result that I would necessarily use. I'm not really a big fan of those things, but I'm just showing you of what you can do. Um, <clears throat> maybe it'll just be easier or cleaner if we just do... There, a snowflake, right? Happy holidays from Patrick Sesco. And we'll change this to white because we want it to be white and black or white and red. And that's it. That's it for that one. And then the last one is this one where I used the image of the, the tree. So I'm going to add a page. I'm going to go back to my uploads. And this is the image that I used. Bring that in. I'm going to drag it to where I fill the entire background and then place it to where it's got a, you know, decent looking, um, uh, layout, if you will. And uh, we're going to do a green square, uh, make this a green square. So we're going to go to elements, close out of here, go back to shapes, we'll grab the square, make the square the full size of the graphic. We're going to change that to the green that we have loaded. Or again, you can choose your own color. And we're going to change the transparency down just so you can start to see the image in the background because that's what we want, something subdued. And now this one here, I'm going to go back and use the snow again because I think this one lends itself more to a snow type of graphic. I like this one because it's much more detailed and it has a feeling of, of it sort of coming from the top to the bottom. And then uh, let's see what we got. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Let's do another season's greetings. So we give ourselves a uh, variety. Season's greetings. Alrighty, let's grab this one right here. Again, this is a pro version, but that's this is exactly why I suggest you get the pro. If you're running a business, you know it, it's always obviously we're always. Let me. I'm going to switch back just so um, you can see my face again. 
But when you're running a business, it's like, we always want to save money. I want to save money. I've been in business for 15 years. You always want to save your money. You, you always want to do things as little as possible and bootstrap as, as much as possible. And I get that. But sometimes you do have to, you have to make the investment. You know, if you're running a business and when you're putting stuff out there and you're trying to nickel and dime every little thing that you're trying to do, it's going to show in how you show up in your business, you know, in, in your, your visual persona, you know, so, uh, you know, things with watermarks, uh, stuff like that. It just looks unprofessional. So certain things you just need to pay for. So if you can afford the, the 10 bucks a month, get it because it'll make a huge difference. And then you don't have to do all these workarounds that waste time when you're trying to figure out these workarounds to get the desired effect that you want, say, for instance, in this, uh, Canva tutorial, right? You pay the $10 a month, you get all the features. You don't have to think about it. You get it done in half the time. So you're already saving that much money and the time saved. So keep that in mind when you're doing these things, right? All right. So let's get back to this. Again, we want this white. So this one, uh, I guess it has a bunch of different grays. So we're just going to change all of these to white. And I'm just going through this one pretty quickly, right? All right, so in the snow graphic here, I'm actually going to change the transparency of that because it's a little bit too too bright. And I'm going to duplicate that and also do it so that way it fills up the bottom as well and then drag that at the bottom there. And this one, I'm not going to put a square around it. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. We're almost done, guys. Appreciate you sticking with me. I, hopefully this has been helpful. If you guys are liking this, just give me a heck yes. And if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, um, I love doing this stuff. So, you know, let me know. Let me know what, what kind of tutorial you want to learn about. What do you want to learn about, you know? Um, okay. And so then I'm going to go back to my uploads. Uh, no, I need to go to my logos. And I'm going to grab my logo again. In this case, you would obviously use your logo. And there, that's it. Simple. It's done. Right? So now, now I've got nine social media graphics three of which you know three styles with some variations of each style and it's like boom they look professional they all have my branding and logos on them it's just a little whimsical merry christmas season's greetings happy holidays whatever you want to say if you celebrate hanukkah you can do the same thing uh, or kwanzaa or if it's the fourth of july or labor day or whatever you can do this for any of your holidays and uh, it, it helps fill up your social media calendar, right? So the last thing you want to do now and uh, is to download these guys. So all you have to do is click on download and choose the PNG setting. And you can either choose all of the pages, which would be nine individual graphics, or if you just wanted one particular graphic, let's say we wanted page two, we do that, click done, hit download. It's going to generate your PNG file, which is the file that you can use for social media. And here it is in Chrome. It just drops right in and boom. Uh, you can't see that. Let me switch the screen here so you can see it. And boom, there it is. That's the graphic. And that's the graphic that you would end up seeing on your social media. And it's <clears throat> that's it. So you got nine different graphics. And you do that, you take your photos, get your iPhone, boom, super powerful tool. Get your iPhone, take the photos. Um, you can do this with, uh, you know, if you go on hikes or walks, take pictures of like tree bark, leaves, cement, dirt. Or if you're in the city, take pictures of like graffiti or brick walls. Always, I always just keep a running uh, folder on my phone of just like textures and things like that. I love like stucco textures and really rough and things and or a picture of a cool street scene or whatever, you know, you've got this in your hand. It's just like super, super powerful. So, you know, use it to your advantage and, you know, you'll save time with having to go through, you know, Unsplash or some of the um, stock photography websites looking for the perfect image when it doesn't ever exist because it's never what you're looking for. You create your own and you create it, uh, you know, tailored to your specific needs. So, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, again, let me know if you guys want the, uh, the Canva template, I will pop the link down here. Just say ho, ho, ho or something like that in the comments or give it a like. I would appreciate the like love. Um, and that's what I got for you guys today. I hope this was helpful and valuable for you. 
and let me know in the comments if you want to see any other types of tutorials that you could use for branding your business. I hope this has been helpful. Once again, I'm Patrick Sesco. I'm your brand buddy, and we'll see you on the next episode. And I believe next week I'm going to be talking about, uh, I'm going to do a recap of a marketing event I went to this past weekend. So be on the lookout for that. All right, you guys have a great uh, day, great week, and kick some butt. We'll talk soon. Later.